Hello. What I'm going to do is show you how to create simple flats. Well, better yet, I'm going to show you how to trace flats in Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing that we want to do is open up our Adobe Illustrator program. Once you open up the program, you're going to click File, New. And give me a minute while it's opening up a new document. And we can click on print. Make sure that the orientation, and we can do inches. I prefer inches. So inches, um, portrait, orientation, and then click create. So I know some programs are different. Well, some computers are set up different. Some of the layers you may or may not see. But we for, for this tutorial, we definitely want to see these particular windows open. So you're going to go up to Window. This is just going to get us started with everything. You'll click Window. Click Layers to make sure that your layers are selected. And then you can scroll down to stroke to make sure that your stroke is selected as well as the transparency. You want to make sure that your transparency is selected. So these are the basic things that you're going to need for right now. We're going to work with one flat that we already have which is the, the flared skirt. So I'm just going to go to that document and open it. I'm going to click File, Open. I'm actually going to look for the flat right now. It should be on my desktop. Flared skirt. Here you go. Click Open. I'm going to try to keep this video short and simple, um, and then we can move over to the next step. So I'm just going to click on the image and expand it. Just to make it as large as my working space. So I shouldn't have any problems tracing. Now keep in mind you're going to make a few mistakes that, that just comes with the territory. So don't worry about don't worry about the mistakes. You can always go back and fix it. So, being that we have this image open, we want to click on this image just to make sure that it's selected. Once I do that, I'm going to bring the transparency down. Um, you should see your transparency tab open, opacity under it. And I'm going to bring the opacity down maybe to about 50%. It makes it light, so that way I can trace over it with a darker pen. So 42% is fine. I'll just click in this space. All I did was left click in this space. Now what I want to do is lock this layer. So I'm going to go here to the layers toggle lock space. Click the lock. After I do that, I'm going to create a new layer. I click there to create my new layer. So what I need to do is I need to trace these flats. I'm just going to work with this the front side of the flat. So if I need to trace it, I actually need my pen tool. So I'm going to go over here, click on the pen tool, make sure that that's selected, and it is. With that being said, I need to make sure that my stroke is selected. And you'll notice that the stroke has a red line through it. That means that it has no color. So I'm going to click on the stroke. And then I'm going to click this section where it says color. That should turn it black or whatever color. So you can always just click on the stroke tool and, you know, change the different colors. But we want to make sure that black is selected and then I'm going to click OK. Also, I'm going to go back over to my fill and I want to make sure that there's no fill selected so I'm going to click none. 
and make sure that you click back on your stroke tool so that the stroke is in front. So now I'm just going to zoom in so I can begin to trace my the front side of this of this flat. So I'll hit Command Plus on the Mac. It may be Control um, Control um, Plus on a PC. So for Mac, I'm just going to scroll over a little bit. Now sometimes your window may you may lose your image. So what you can do, you can click on your window and hit the navigation tool panel. And with this being said, you can navigate anywhere you can find your image anywhere using this it's very helpful so you can slide this over if it gets in your way you can always close it you can always close it out so I'm just going to go back over to the front side of my flat and begin tracing so the very important tools that you need once again would be your selection tool once you click on that, that's selecting the the image or what have you, also the, the direct selection. But we want to make sure that we go back to the pen tool because you're going to begin to trace. So all I did was click on the pen tool. You see all of these different options, but we only want the pen. Now I have to show you and I, you, you need to listen because there are certain things that you need to do once you trace. So to simply trace, I'll click my anchor point, which is the top corner of my skirt. I just clicked, let go of the mouse. I'm moving the mouse over to the left. I'm going to bring bring it down just a little bit because there's a little dip. I'm going to click here. I'm moving my mouse over. I'm not clicking anything. And now I'm going to click the other side of the waist. I'm going to move my mouse down, click. Now I'm going to move the mouse down a little bit, but you'll notice that there's a curve. So I'm just moving my mouse, click, and now I'm dragging the mouse over a little bit to create this curve. Just moving it. I'm, I'm clicking and dragging, and as I'm dragging, I'm creating a slight curve. I'm going to let go and then click. Now I'm going to move down. I'm just moving. I'm not dragging. Moving the mouse down. Click. Moving the mouse down. Click. Moving the mouse over. Click. And I'm going to drag a little just to create a little curve, click, let go, moving my mouse over, click, moving my mouse over, click, and I'm just following the lines of the flat that I see, click, click, I'm going to click and just drag to create that curve. Click, 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 I'm just moving, click, 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 and now I'm going to drag to create the curve. Click, Click, bring my mouse down, click, 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 move up, click, click. It's important that I say click so you'll know exactly what I'm doing with the mouse. Click. And I'm just clicking and moving my mouse to create anchor points. Now I'm going to go up the side of the skirt. Well, let me go back because there needs to be an extra little point there. Better. Um, 
sometimes your pen can get a little crazy, but it's okay. You have control over it. Click, click, and just moving my mouse up. Now, this has a bit of a curve, so I'm going to just move my mouse up, click this anchor point, drag to create a slight curve in the skirt. Click, click. So now I should be good. I'm going to hit return. I'm going to go to the selection tool. And now you'll see that there's a the trace of the actual skirt. I'm going to click on the direct selection just to see what happens. Nothing happens. I'll go back to the selection tool and that's fine. I just click this area just so you can see the trace. And you'll notice that some of these um, areas aren't smoothed out. So what I want to do is smooth out the, these little curves just a little bit. It won't be as perfect as the flat that's done because it's not my original. But we know how to make this work. So um, what I want to do is click back on the direct selection tool. And I'm going to click this section of the skirt. I'm going to click Command Plus and zoom in so you'll see what I'm getting ready to do. So in order to smooth this out, I need the Smooth tool. So I'm going to click on this section here, this little tab, and I'm going to scroll down to where it says Smooth tool. You'll notice this little circle opens up, and I'm just going to click and drag on this area. Let's see what happens and it smooths it for me. I'm going to click and drag on this little area and that smooths it out just a little bit for me. I'm going to go over and I want to smooth these little points so I'm clicking and dragging the smooth tool over that area. I'll try it again here. Click and drag over that area just to smooth it out. I'm going to click and drag this area just a little bit. It made it a little odd. So I'll hit edit, undo smooth, edit, undo smooth, just to go back to its original state. That way I won't mess it up anymore. Um, and I'll do the same thing for this corner. So I'll, I'll click and drag this little section. Let me just try this to see what happens. I don't like it, so I'm going to edit, undo smooth, edit, undo smooth, and leave it as is. I'm going to click on the selection tool, click this area, and now this is what my skirt looks like. This area, I can smooth that out a little bit, so I'm going to hit the direct, direction, direct selection tool again. Click this, this section, hit my smooth tool. Click and drag it over this area. Click the selection tool. Click this gray area. And that's okay for now, but we'll zoom out. And that gives you um, just a little bit on how you can trace your flat. So there's certain areas on the inside that I need to go in and finish. So I'm going to try that. Command plus. I'm going to go back to my pen tool, click, and just move, and click. So I created a waistline. Let me hit enter to get rid of that extra. I'm going to click this gray section. I don't like what I see, so I'm going to select that again and hit delete and try over. So... Let's go down to the pen tool, click, I still don't like what I see, so I'm, I clicked it, I'm going to hit return, delete, just so I can delete that section again, so I'm going to hit delete to get rid of that point, pen tool, I'm going to start from here, this might be a little better. 
click. I'm going to click that section here. Return, selection, and here I go. So that's a little better. And I need to trace these little points here. So once again, pencil, click, click, hit return, quick selection, and there you have it. I'll do this, trace this section, pen tool, click, 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 I'll hit return, hit my selection tool, click this little gray area, and there you have it, so that's, that's traced. Now what I need to do is create a little circle for the button. So what I wanna do is choose my ellipse tool and try to get a perfect circle. I may or may not, but just gonna click and drag to create my circle. It's not perfect, I'll hit return. Then the selection tool. Then I'm gonna just move it over a little bit. I need to zoom in. What I need to do is zoom in, so I'm gonna hit Command Plus. Scroll up a bit. Move this over. And that should be fine. Now I want to create another um, trace for the buttonhole opening. So I click my pen tool once again, click, click, hit return, selection tool, and now that's it. That's the tracing of that, the outer, outer, the outline of the skirt so we want to zoom out and now this is this part can be a bit tricky so I'm gonna save this come back and show you how to create the soft lines within the 